Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Ben on Balls. Today, we are going to do yet another Ben on Balls Top 5 Top Tips, sponsored by Jag. Let's see, doing another request show today, and this one is from an email that I received from a Peter Ian Staker. He says, uh, Dear Ben, long time, first time, love the show. Uh, I'm finally going to join kickball for the first time this season, and I was wondering if you had any tips on how to have a shitty time. Thanks for all the help, Peter. You are goddamn right I have some tips, Peter. And now, the top five ways to have a shitty fucking time in kickball. <laughs> Number five, be difficult and uncommunicative. Your captain will probably ask if you are going to show up to the game, maybe to set a lineup, but don't tell him that's a trap. Instead, what you should do, if you really want to have a shitty time, show up like 20 minutes late and then get mad that you're not immediately put into the game. And, ooh, better yet, <clears throat> what they really won't expect Make sure you have an aggressive dog that you can bring and then demand that you're allowed to play with the dog on the field. That is a great way to have a shitty time and to make sure people near you have a shitty time too, especially if that dog likes to bite. Number four, yell at everyone. Yell at people on your team. Yell at people on the other team. Yell at the ref. Definitely, definitely yell at the ref because especially if you're new, you definitely know all the rules better than that ref does. Because you played Little League like 15 years ago, and you don't really remember it, so you have some vague idea of how it's supposed to go. And even though that's baseball or softball, those rules definitely apply to kickball much better than the actual kickball rules. So just make sure that you let everyone know that you know the rules best. Especially because... You know, I heard the ref talking shit about you before the game, and they said that they're going to screw you over for no reason. Definitely yell at them. Oh, and if you want to take this next level, yes. Don't try at all when you go on the field. Make sure you expect your team to win the game for you. Like if somebody kicks a ball near you, don't get it. That's somebody else's responsibility. But if anyone else makes a mistake, get really, really pissed and yell at them a bunch. That is a great way to have a shitty time. Number three, hit on other people constantly and disrespectfully. Nothing says having a terrible time, like making sure whatever gender of your choice or choices think you're a disgusting creep. That's a great way for everything to just be awful. You must be from UPS, because you've been staring at my package all night. My dick died today. Can I bury it in you? Your daddy must have been a baker, because I really want to do things to your butt. Possibly controversially, this tip mostly applies to dudes. Uh, ladies, I know, women can do everything that men can. Girl power. But to pull this off, I mean, you'll... This particular one, you'll really have to go above and beyond. I don't know, like... Hump legs like a dog? Number two! Don't socialize at all. Don't talk to anyone. Especially not if they're wearing a different colored shirt than you. Fuck those people. They're all losers and creeps and weirdos. Just... Just don't. Don't try to make friends. Definitely don't go to the bar afterwards. Do not go to the bar and like hang out with people and play games. That would be terrible. Bonus points if you brought a ball to the field to practice with that other people might be using because it was laying around that you can then like go angrily grab. And so you can literally take your ball and go home. That's a great way to do it. I mean, that's, ooh, that's good stuff. Then, even next level after that, 
Make sure you complain that after you go home, complain that your team isn't getting any bonus points, any social points for you not being at the bar socializing. Because fuck them. As Jean-Paul Sartre said, hell is other people. And you're goddamn sure going to prove him right. And number one, the number one top tip on how to have a shitty time in kickball. Take it way too seriously. Maybe you're still upset that you didn't make varsity your senior year. Maybe, you know, maybe you're overly competitive and just really can't turn it off and relax ever. Maybe you're still looking for a way to get your distant father to love and respect you. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever the reason is, taking kickball way too fucking seriously will absolutely make sure that you have a shitty time and probably the people around you too. I mean, this is, this is gold right here. There definitely are not any professional kickball players. That doesn't exist. But maybe, just maybe, if you pretend that you are one, you might like yourself again for just a minute. And there we go. My top five tips to have a shitty time in kickball. Thank you for that email, Peter. Uh, if you'd like to submit a question to the show, just message Jen Greenbaum on Facebook. Uh, she has nothing better to do. What? What? That, how, to, how to have a good time in kickball? Fuck, I don't. I don't, know. I don't fucking know. Like, uh, do the exact opposite of everything I just said. I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't prepare for this. What the, God, what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> you thought I was gonna have a shot? Leave a shot here on the desk, like some kind of fucking Chekhov's gun, and then not do a shot. You were right. <laughs>